spawn flowers when you run, save yourself from lava, and of course, spawn chickens when you punch dirt blocks. These are just some of the superpowers I'm going to show you in today's tutorial on how to mod Minecraft in minutes. First, head on over to the website that I've linked in the description box below, and on there, choose your version of Minecraft. There's some fantastic step-by-step -step instructions on the website, and I highly recommend that you take the time to go through and read the instructions as well. You'll need to download the Make Code Code Connection app, and there's the download box on this website. Go ahead and click it, download it, and install it on your computer. Once it's installed, you'll see this message, and it'll be your own unique ID. Copy it to the clipboard by pressing the copy button on the middle of that, and then go back onto your Minecraft game. We're going to start a new game, so press play, create new world, and you'll need to give it a name and enable cheats. Modding Minecraft this way works both in creative and survival. I've just spawned in a creative world, but it uh, put me in a bit of a strange place, so I've just dropped down here. Press enter to bring up the text box and control V to paste in the text. You'll now see your little agent and the co-connection app has changed. We're going to build it in make code, so select that to build up the make code editor in the blocks. Using alt and tab pressed at the same time on your keyboard is a very useful way to very quickly switch between these screens. On the left are all the category blocks, and so let's get uh, uh, started by doing when a player walks, which is under the blue player block, and then under the green blocks, place, and we'll choose some flowers. The location 0, 0, 0 is your location, it's relative to you. It's taking a step out to the side, to the forward and above that this relates to. We can also get a mob block and a spawn block, then under green blocks on dirt bot block broken, get the spawn and animal, and I've set it to your own location 0, 0, 0. In the bottom right, press play, and then when you go back into your game and look at your feet, notice I'm sprinting at the minute, now I'm running, and there we go, we get some flower spawn. And of course, punching the dirt blocks now, then I'm running this code, means that these chickens appear. Something that saved me a lot of times is under the player category, on player swim lava, and then back on the blocks category place a block, change this to water by searching for water, and this means now when I hit play, if I accidentally swim in lava, it's going to place a water block on me. So as I'm in creative, I can grab a lava bucket, and it doesn't always appear because I'm recording at the minute, but there we go. When I'm swimming in lava, it produces some water, and it puts it out. It's also a really good way of making some cobblestone. There are so many things that you can do here. Just on mobs, you can apply so many effects. You can enchant items. You can teleport. You can change the weather. You can change the time of day. You can even add effects and multipliers. Um, and what we're going to do now is type a message in the sky. From blocks, go down to print and there put it into the on chat command and change that to the message that you're going to type into the message box when you press enter in your game. I've put it hello in all capital letters and I've changed it to orange wool. Notice the location is still 0, 0, 0, so I need to move out the way because these letters are going to be very big and spawn on me. When I go into the message bar and type hello, it begins to generate 
and print in the sky. It's under gameplay that you can change the weather and the time of day. One last really interesting funny thing to do, uh, just as a little special treat, is under mobs, if you go down to the apply effect, there's all the effects in the game that you can put on yourself and players and even villagers. Grab the player block on chat command, and I've just typed in a message fly. As you can see, there's haste, strength, nausea, regeneration, night vision, invisibility, and we're going to choose the last one, levitation, all entities, and you can change the duration in seconds and the amplifier, which is how powerful it will be. So I'm just going to float down here now, and by pressing enter on my keyboard and typing fly, all of the animals and everything around me starts floating for a few seconds. There's so much you can do with this. I hope you have great fun having a little adventures of your own. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.